There is this man of wonder who made a massive impact on his time. This man wrote almost half of the New Testament. His name is Apostle Paul. This man is a man of fire. One day, this man and his brother in Christ were on transit for a ministerial work. As they were traveling, they saw a lady who is possessed with the spirit of divination, a soothsayer. The woman was conjoined when Apostle Paul saw her. Where do you think you are going to? <laughs> Jack, <laughs> I know you. You are the son of the Most High God. Please, let's go, let's go. Stop! Where do you think you are going to? Your destiny is in my palms. This palm. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, I command you that spirit of divination to leave this body in the name of Jesus. Amen. You that strange spirit, I command you to leave that body. And it was so. Apostle Paul never knew that they have already suffered him to their cancer. The game of that Apostle Paul. And they carry him, they lock him up. Then they lock Apostle Paul up. But the Bible makes us to understand in Acts chapter 16, verse 16. The Bible makes us to understand. He said, At the midnight hour, I want, to, I want you to identify that point. The midnight hour. The Bible says, At the midnight hour, Paul the apostles, Paul and Salas, they wake up at that midnight hour. The question is, Why that midnight hour? There is something about that hour. Have you taken notes that even the evil doers, those are their weak, those are their strengthful time, those are their time they wake up to do their evil. Why is it that time? Midnight hour, mostly by 12. Why is it that time? That is a topic for another day. We will come to that. But what we are trying to say today, the Bible said Apostle Paul and Salas wake up at the midnight hour. He said they pray, they pray, they pray like never before. They pray like never before. After they finish praying, they sang praises to God. He said, suddenly, there was an earthquake, and everywhere was shaking. Everywhere was shaking. He said, the earthquake shook everywhere. Even those that were bound, those that were tied, were loose. The doors of the places were opened, and everywhere was open. Pray this prayer. The powers that vowed that my story will not change, can you shout it loud and clear? You are a liar! Baba Daba Kasaba Haya Bahanda! Hey! Powers that vow that my situation will not change! You are a liar! Haya Bashanda Bakapaya! Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. How was that vowed that my story will not change? What are you waiting for? Die by fire, die, 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 die. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Make sure your prayer will be violent. The violent take it by force. 
say anything done in any evil altar can you shout it loud and clear that will not allow my story to change wherever that altar is now Anything born on any evil altar that will not allow my story to change. What are you waiting for? Wherever you are, die by fire, die by fire. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Invest your energy now. Don't invest it to see the pastor or any minister. This is where you need to see God. Say this loud and clear. Every gang up against my destiny, against my family, as I lift up my hands in prayer, stop Every gang up against my life, against my destiny, against my family, as I lift up my hands in prayer, scatter, 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 scatter by fire. Jesus, mighty name we pray.